Amsterdam's once again tonight the centre of an investigation into the murder of a famous public figure who'd become controversial for his stance on race. The filmmaker Theo van Gogh, a distant relative of the famous painter, was cycling near his home in Amsterdam when he was stabbed and shot dead. His most recent film had been about a Muslim woman abused by her husband and raped by her uncle. His killing had echoes of the assassination of Pim Fortan, the anti-immigration politician, two years ago, as Nicholas Glass reports. On a cycle path just outside Amsterdam, a white sheet draped over the murder victim and a scene that many Dutchmen have dreaded for some time. Here was someone well known, in this case a newspaper columnist and filmmaker, apparently murdered for questioning Muslim values by, it seems, a Muslim. Okay. Theo van Gogh was 47. He thrived on being deliberately provocative in his columns and in his films. He was always likely to offend. He believed in freedom of expression just as he believed in smoking. He was liked and disliked and there was almost no in-between. Either you liked Theo van Gogh and his pro provocative way of working or you thoroughly disliked it. He was cycling to work this morning when another cyclist rode up alongside him and shot him. The murderer was very deliberate. Van Hoff was shot and stabbed. His assailant stood over him to make sure he was dead. And there are reports that a note was left pinned to the dead man's chest. Police are said to have arrested a man of Moroccan descent. Extra Journal. Tonight in the Netherlands, there's only one news story to report. And with it, an awareness that this murder threatens a long-cherished reputation for tolerance. The Netherlands has a population of 16 million, one million of them Muslim. The Dutch Prime Minister, Jan Peter Bakanende, spoke of the threat to democracy. Usually people tried to reach solutions with words. Bullets weren't the answer. Freedom of speech is crucial. Two years ago, the right-wing politician Pim Fortone was murdered during an election campaign. It campaigned against immigration. His murderer turned out to be an environmentalist. As it happens, Van Hoff was in the process of editing a film about Fortone's murder. It allegedly suggests that the Dutch Secret Service conspired in the murder. Van Hoff's most recent collaborator was Ian Hersey Ali, a former Muslim and now conservative Dutch MP. In their short film submission, a veiled Muslim woman told the story of a violent marriage and rape by a relative who was transmitted at peak time on Dutch television and caused outrage in the Muslim community. Now the film's director is dead. In a few years, the majority of the youth in our largest cities like Rotterdam, Amsterdam and Utrecht will be of non-Dutch descendancy, will be of Muslim descendancy. So he wanted us to think about this. And that he is murdered, will that, that impact will last for years. Nicholas Glass reporting.